Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Bruchelt and in this video I want to talk about how to use Microsoft Forms to update SAP data from Excel leveraging Power Automate. Like in previous videos, in this video, I want to focus on the Microsoft Power Platform, more specifically about Power Automate, which basically bridges the integration between Microsoft Excel and the SAP system in this specific scenario. So before I go into the actual details, I want to highlight that um, a lot of things have already happened in the background. Um, more precisely, um, in one of our last videos where we connected Microsoft Excel tables via Power Automate to SAP is the foundation of um, what we're doing here in this specific scenario. We're just adding one layer on top that actually allows us to enter the data into Excel um, via a Microsoft form. The idea or the actual scenario out of this integration actually comes from a real customer scenario. So recently I was in a discussion with a customer um, where the central SAP system was lo located here in Germany, but actually a lot of subsidiaries obviously were distributed um, across the world. Now, um, whenever data in the SAP system needed to be updated um, by one of these subsidiaries, um, these employees sent an email um, to a central person um, in, in, in Germany, and this person then manually had to copy and paste basically the data um, into the SAP system. Now they had tried to use Excel in some extent, but um, um, in several cases, these Excel sheets were still too complicated for the users. So um, a lot of rework um, needed to be done. So out of the discussion that we had with the customer, we actually implemented a very nice scenario where we said, well, working with Excel is still um, pretty helpful in these scenarios, but inputting the data into Excel directly, that didn't work out. So on top of Excel, we actually created a Microsoft Forms, which simplified the data input. Um, this form then would write the data into Excel. And then from Excel, there was an additional approval process, so to say, where a user went line by line over the, the items and then using Power Automate, updated the data in the SAP system. So let's take a look how this um, works. We'll start by opening the Microsoft Forms. So this would be the form that would be available for the subsidiaries where um, the users would just open up this form, would enter a product ID, would provide a category, select a name, Surface Book 4, very latest device, enter price, weight measure, width, height and submit this request. Now, back in the back office, um, the user could open up an Excel sheet. And in this Excel sheet, the user would see um, the product ID, the new created product. Now, what the user in the back office would now do is uh, your user would just go to um, data and open up a form. So very similar, like in, the, in, a, in a previous video, we're um, looking at the available Power Automate flows that are associated with this specific table. And there is one entry, create new product, which I can now just execute here. I run the flow. And now this specific product is created in the SAP system. Let me actually quickly check this. So we head over to SAP Fury. We look for the product. And we can see the newly created product um, in our SAP system. So how have we done this? Let's look behind the scenes. Well, the, the most important thing here is our um, Power Automate flow that we have created. So similar like before, we have a trigger that listens to a specific file and that is looking for a table called add product table. And um, actually, if I switch quickly um, to our Excel sheet, and um, if I go to this form, then you can see that in this table, if I go to design, that this table name is add product table. So, so that's the table 
um, there's monitored basically by our, by our Power Automate flow. Once there is a change, once this um, Power Automate flow is triggered, then we trigger off the get product, we fetch the CSRF token, and then we add this token, uh, this, this product to the SAP system. Now, since I am responsible for a certain subsidiary, I know um, the supplier ID, for example. I can pre-populate some certain fields, but obviously the, the, the name, the price, the description, and so on, these are all variables that are sent over to the SAP system. So the only thing left, basically, is how do we get this form? How can we create the form? And there, actually, um, Excel has a pretty nice functionality where you can go to Insert Forms. And let me just open this, this form, which I already had created. I mean, originally, I used a new form, but in this specific case, I just go to Edit Form. And now we can see the data input. So I, I created a few questions. Um, what is the product ID? What is the category? And, and so on. Obviously, I could rearrange these fields as well very easily. I could um, also change um, the information in centimeters or whatever. So, so it's very, very easy to, to update this. I can always do a quick preview and, and check um, if this form um, suits my needs. And, and that's basically it. So now whenever someone has access to this form and I can share this um, with users in my company only, in my organizations only. I can make it um, public so that anyone can, can access this specific form. But whenever then someone enters this data, the new a new entry is created here in Excel. So in this specific case, I can actually see when was it created, who created it, because it's part of our organization. And then also um, the related information here about the product. And that's it. So I hope this quick video showed you how you can actually build forms on top of your Excel sheet. And with this provide a very, very easy user experience for your end user. The important thing is that this is really low code. I mean, there's no coding involved. There's no um, complicated um, creating new user interfaces. It's very simple, very straightforward. So really something where you can enable your business users to create a full end-to-end -end scenario while still obviously IT with the connection to the SAP system has full control of what's actually happening. If you like this video, um, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy.